Hey there fellow creators, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios and today I've got five tips for the beginner artist. Stick around. So recently I was watching a long rabbit hole of other YouTube creators giving their 5, 10, 15, 20 tips for beginners and I was like, wow, I agree with some of this and I agree with a lot of not of this. Uh, so it kind of got me thinking, what are the 5 tips that I would give to somebody who's just starting out in art? Tip number one, get a sketchbook and use it every single day. You don't necessarily have to draw some big elaborate thing in it every single day. It doesn't have to be even a drawing. You can write stuff in it. Uh, the best way I describe a sketchbook is that it's a visual journal. Uh, so fill it with whatever you want to do it, uh, put into it. Newspaper, magazine clippings, uh, print out the things, scribble in it. Doesn't matter. Just get a sketchbook, start working in it. Tip number two, do not use an eraser at all. If you're just starting to draw, you just like a thing, pick up some pencils, whatever. If you're not grabbing uh, specifically artist pencils, the ones that just have the silver end and no eraser on them. Uh, maybe you have an eraser off to the side. Or maybe you're using the good old-fashioned yellow number two pencil. Uh, if you're tempted to use it, either pull the silver point off or just slice the eraser off entirely. Don't erase. Uh, erasers are a crutch in a lot of ways. They're a great tool uh, once you're ready to use them. But if you're just starting out and you're really tempted, just erase, 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 erase. Get rid of the erasers. Uh, that way you're really forcing yourself to make decisions and learn from the mistakes rather than having to constantly erase them and erase them and erase them, usually damaging the paper as a result. Tip three, take a class. Really, I mean, uh, online tutorials are great. I make them. I enjoy watching them from time to time myself. But if you have no context for any of the stuff without any concept of an instructor, Take a class. A uh, good thing for this is uh, if you live in the United States, local community colleges usually have summer programs, things you can take for you know just a few dollars, if not for free, as long as you just sign up in time and get on the list and get into the class. Granted, things are a little bit different currently now with quarantines, but uh, take a class if you can. Uh, really, really valuable. Sometimes it's just about having somebody there in your actual presence to tell you some of this stuff because just watching videos or hearing it online doesn't always do the do it justice and I find that nine times out of ten you just have sometimes have to be shown in person how to do that uh, so if you're struggling to learn take a class a basic drawing class a basic painting class even a, just like a general fundamentals of art class having that in-person instruction can really be really 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 be really valuable tip number four uh, in this day and age, we are tempted to start drawing and then post what we're doing to social media or sharing with friends and family or whatever. Uh, while it's nice to share your work, don't create for that reason. And I would say for this tip, I would say flat out, don't post your work online. Uh, wait, wait quite a while. Wait until you're really comfortable working and perhaps even really proud of what you're doing before you do that. Uh, that sad little caveat to that is you're going to make a lot of crappy drawings. A lot of crappy drawings. I've been doing this for years. I still make really crappy drawings. Uh, but don't necessarily post everything you do online. It's really important to work for yourself. Work in your own way first. I mean, if you're posting to perhaps a, a forum where you're getting critiques, that's fine. But you shouldn't be creating just for the sake of the post and just for the sake of gaining a following and an audience. That comes with time. And the first thing you need to focus on is getting good at drawing, uh, and getting to a level where you are comfortable posting that stuff uh, before you start trying to build an audience. Don't build the audience first. Uh, build the audience once you kind of are established and know what you're doing first. And the fifth tip is simply sets. Buy sets of things. If you don't know where to start, if you're like, oh, well, I do, well, what pencils do I get? What brushes? What paints? Sets, packs. So sets of pencils, sets of pens. Uh, Color theory, landscape portrait sets for, for, for tubes of paint. Packs of canvas boards, packs of brushes. They're in every arts and crafts store, main, big art store, every, they're packs of stuff. Start with the packs. Super easy, that's how I started. Uh, you don't, I mean, you can buy individual tubes if you kind of have an idea of what you want. But if you don't know what to get, you don't know what you're gonna need, start with the packs and build everything else out from there. 
honestly, it's really effective to start with what somebody else may have, maybe has selected for you uh, before you can really know, oh, I'm going to need this color. Well, you're not unless you have a general idea of what those sets look like. So those are just five quick tips that I have for beginning artists. Uh, this is not a complete list. I'm probably going to be coming up with at least another five or six or twelve or whatever throughout the course of the next week. So stick around for probably an additional five and an additional additional five down the road. Uh, for more stuff like this, I would suggest checking out the Everything You Need to Know About playlist, specifically the Art Papers video, since I didn't really talk about which types of paper to buy or anything like that. Additionally, I have an entire playlist of tutorials for beginners here on this channel, and you can check those out uh, in one of the two corners. I haven't decided where I'm putting it yet. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that like button. Get subscribed if you're not already. Uh, check me out in social links in the description box below. Hit that like button. I might have already said that. This has been Center of Block Studios reminding you to keep on creating, and I will see you guys next time.